Hello YouTube makeup lovers. So today I'm going to do another video in the makeup collection series and today's video is going to be dedicated to my lipstick collection. So here you have it. This is my entire lipstick collection all laid out right over here and I'm going to go through them one by one. There are only a few cases where I'm not going to really spend so much time on them and that is a lot of them. For example, the MAC ones, I'm not gonna go over that much because I already have a video dedicated just to my MAC lipstick collection. And in that video, I swatched them all for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that one down below. But there are about 12 MAC lipsticks, these right here, that are new lipsticks and they weren't included in that video. So those I will definitely share with you guys today. I have them here separated by the lip gloss so I kinda know which ones are the ones that I have already mentioned. And then I think maybe I might have already done some swatches of these Revlon lip butters. So if I find something like that where I have shared it before, I might just, you know, reference that video and link it down below for you guys, just so that this video doesn't turn out to be an hour long because I do have a lot of lipsticks. So we better get started because I have a lot of goodies to share with you guys today. So first I'm gonna start off with the MAC lipsticks that are pretty much new. These are all the lipsticks that I did not show in my MAC lipstick collection video that I did in 2014, so I'm gonna go through them one by one. This one right here is Pure Zen. Sweet and Sour. Faux. Asian Flower. Violetta. This one is one of my favorites. I love these dark plum colors like this. Notice me. This is a very sheer color. Diva. Razzle Dazzle. Speed Dial, Heroin, I'm going to put it here next to Violetta so you see the difference between the two. Heroin is a lot darker than the Violetta. Real Doll, and the last one from MAC is this Viva Glam Nikki 2. And this is a color that I really regret because I never wear this purple looking color on my lips. Also from MAC, I have this Patent Pink Patent Polish Lip Pencil. And let me show you what the swatch of this looks like. It looks kind of like a chubby stick, but it looks like that. From Too Faced, I have four of the Melted Liquefied Lipsticks. These three are the regular Melted line, and then this one is the Melted Metal. So let me show you the swatches of each. This one right here is the very first one here, which is the Melted Fig. The nude one is here, and it is the one in the middle, right? Well, the second one right there, and that is Melted Sugar. The pink one is Melted Marshmallow. And then the Melted Metal one is called Melted Metallic Violet, which is this one right here on the end. From Kat Von D, I only have two, and these are the Star Studded Lipsticks. And this first one is called Lovecraft, and it looks like this. The second one I had is called Love, L-U-V. I also have a ton of lipsticks from the Gerard Cosmetics brand, so I'm gonna go one by one and share them with you. This pink one right here is called Fairy Godmother. Underground. Buttercup, this one is my favorite from the brand. 1995. 
Kimchi Doll. This is a color I totally regret because it is extremely light. It's one of those nudes that make you look a little dead. Tequila Sunrise. Lilac Moon, which is another color that I strongly regret because I just, I'm not into purple, purple lips. This is like a light lavender lip color. It's a beautiful color maybe for my wall of my bedroom, but not for my lips. Berry Smoothie. Nude. All dolled up. Fire Engine, it's a very pretty red color. Cherry Cordial. And this is the last of the Gerard Cosmetics. This one is called Rodeo Drive. The brand Dose of Color, I have Play Date. Soft Touch, Karma, Love Potion, Dark Secret, Angelic, Sorbet, Seductive, Poise, and last but not least from Dose of Color, Koi. From the brand Milani, I really like the matte lipsticks. I don't like the ones from the regular line just because I really hate the smell. But this one I love. This one is Matte Blissful. And here is the swatch right here. This is like my favorite. I highly recommend this pink color. Then I have the nude, which is matte innocent. This is the nude color. And then I have the lighter pink, which is called catwalk pink. It's like a brighter, lighter pink, but definitely this matte one I love the most, the blissful. From Charlotte Tilbury, I have two, and I have the shade Nude Kate, which is this one right here, and Bitch Perfect, which is this one right here. These are pretty pricey lipsticks, and I, I like them, but I don't like absolutely love them. So I think if you're gonna spend this much money on a lipstick, you better love them. So I really don't see myself going out to buy more. I mean, they're great quality, but I definitely like other lipsticks much better that are a lot lot cheaper. From Lime Crime, I also have two, and again, this is another brand that I really do not feel the urge to go out and buy more products. They're just like, all right. This one here is Babette, and let me show you the swatch for Babette. And then this other one here is called Cosmo Pop, which is this one right here. I mean, they're just okay, no big deal. I really don't wear these all that much. The brand Wet n Wild, these are from the Fergie collection. This one is called VIP Pink, and this one is called Fergie Daily. And here are the swatches of the two. These are very, very affordable. If I had to pick one, I would definitely pick the pink color. From Urban Decay, I have three. This one is called Native, Naked, and Naked 2. And here are the swatches. There is Native, Naked, and Naked 2. My favorite one is Native out of these three. That is the one that I pretty much use the most. From the brand Hourglass, I have one lipstick, and this is actually one of my favorite nudes. It's called Fable. And let me show you a swatch. It's a really pretty nude color. The brand YSL, I have these two of the Rouge Volupt lip colors. This one is the number one, which is a pinky nude. And this is the number two, a more tan type of nude. And here are the swatches. This is the one and this is the two. Both are very beautiful, very light nudes, and I love the way these lipsticks smell. This is what the complete packaging looks like, by the way. They're very fancy, schmancy lipsticks. 
from the brand NYX. I have two of the butter lipsticks. This pink one right here is called Cotton Candy and the nude one is called Snow Cap. And here are the swatches. This is Cotton Candy and this one is Snow Cap. Also from NYX, I have the Liquid Suede, which is a cream lipstick. This is in the shade Tea and Cookies and this is the swatch. Although the swatch does look excellent, I have to say that I don't love the way that it feels on my lips. It's not very comfortable, it kind of annoys me and I really, I just have to take it off once I put it on. So I don't think this is something that I will repurchase any other shade from this line. Another one of my favorite lipstick brands is Bite Beauty. They really have beautiful, beautiful colors. This one right here is Fig and it's this one right here. Grenache is this one right here. Vouvray. And Retsina, which is one of my all-time favorite nudes. I love this nude color. I've already gone through about three of these. It is just such a beautiful color. It's my favorite from the Bite Beauty line. Also from Bite Beauty, I have these lipstick pencils. This one is called Violet and this pink one is called Velvet. And here are the swatches. This is Violet and this is Velvet. I also got this little set that came out for the holidays. I think it was a little bit over a year ago. And I really, really loved them. So I got to try out a bunch of the Bite Beauty lipsticks. These are like double sided. See, it has one lipstick on one end and one lipstick on the other end. So these, I did do a video when I did the haul and I swatched them all for you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and link it down below because there's quite a few of them. And I'll just link the video down below because I did show you one by one what came in that Bite Beauty holiday set. From the brand NARS, I have a few lipsticks as well. This is from the newer collection and this one is called Anna. Look at that amazing color payoff with this lipstick. Also from NARS, I have Belle Du Jour. These have been around for a long time. And then the peachy color is Barbarella. So these are the only three NARS lip colors that I actually have. I have two really beautiful lipsticks from the brand Giorgio Armani. These are some of my fanciest lipsticks, but these I actually really, really love. And if I ever run out of them, I think it's definitely ones that I would repurchase. This pink one is shade 508, and it is right here. And the nude one is this one right here, and that one is shade 55. I remember the first time I saw this lipstick was in a magazine, and they had said that it was like Kim Kardashian's favorite nude. So I went out and bought it, and it was really a beautiful nude. So I really love these two. Next, I have from the brand Kardashian Beauty, and these are the Enjoy Sticks. I really, really love these lip colors. The best part about them is that you can find them at the drugstore but they're really excellent quality and they have excellent color payoff. So I'm gonna share with you guys the swatches. Unfortunately, the names in the back of these things, some of them are just so, so small that I can't even see them. Some of them are a little bit bigger like this one and I can see them. So I will make sure to list them down below in the description box. I'm gonna look up the exact names of all of them and I'll list them down below in the order that I am mentioning them, which by the way, I'm gonna list every single thing that I've mentioned in the description box down below. So first, here is the nude color. I know this has the name mauve in the actual name. This one, I do know the name. It is Shocking Pink. The red one, I think, is a gorgeous red, but I have no idea what the color says. This pink one is Shock... No, what's a pink one called? The pink one is called Baby Doll. That one I know by memory. And the peachy one is called... Sea Coral, so that one I can actually see the name perfectly. It's just the nude that I really can't see and the red, but I'll make sure to list those names down below. But these are excellent, excellent colors and I just think they're really great quality for the drugstore. So now I'm gonna get into my Maybelline colors, which are these down here and these. I think Maybelline is one of my favorite drugstore brands. I mean, I just mentioned to you the Kardashian Beauty and Joysticks 
And then I think Maybelline are also the next ones that I love the most. So I'm gonna go through them. These are pretty much the really bright colors that came out in that collection. And these are the nude colors that came out in the Buffs collection. And then these are two other ones that one of my best friend gave me just because she knows how much I love Maybelline colors and I absolutely love those. Then I also have the Revlon. These are the lip butters. These are the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters. These, I'm not gonna go through, I'm not gonna swatch these because I did do a video where I shared all my Revlon lip butters and I also shared some swatches. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that video in the description box down below. But I am gonna go ahead and show the Maybelline ones. I think I've probably mentioned these a couple times in the videos, but I don't think I have a video dedicated to all of them and I don't wanna make you go through a bunch of videos just to find every color. So those I am gonna swatch. First, I'm gonna go through the ones from the Buffs collection. So here we have the first one. This is Blushing Beige, and this one is number 915. This is Cinnamon, number 935. This is Nude Lust, number 920. Number 945, Stormy Sahara. And this last one is Truffle Tease, and it is number 930. So here are all the ones from the buffs. I definitely think that my favorite one is this one, which is the nude one. I believe it was number 920. These are the bright ones that came out in another Color Sensational collection. So I'm gonna go through all these colors as well. This first one is called Shocking Coral. Fuchsia Flash. These are excellent colors for the summer and the spring. This is one of my favorites. Pink Pop, I remember I wore this color all the time. Hot Plum. Brazen Berry. Electric Orange. Then the others I have also from Maybelline. These are also color sensational, but they're from other collections. This one right here is 730 and it is called Orchid Ecstasy. And this is what that one looks like. And this nude color I think is so beautiful. It's called Born With It and it's number 015. This is the one that has the dark cap like this. So I did wanna go ahead and show you these two from the Revlon Colorstay Lip Butters. These were not in the video that I'm gonna to link to down below with the other swatches of all my other lip butters because these aren't newer. This one is called Sorbet and this one is Juicy Papaya. And I am gonna show you the swatches. There you see the Juicy Papaya and that one is this color right down here. And the Sorbet is this one right here which is right next to it. And let me just show you what it looks like on the stick. So that one is the Sorbet. I forgot to mention this one from NYX. This is the High Voltage Lipstick in the shade Flutter Kiss. And this is the swatch right here. So I think that is pretty much it. I just showed you my entire lipstick collection. And now I have to clean this mess that I have on the floor. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I wanna say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. Bye.